a very rigid scoring regime. So there were a certain number of points for the scientific methodology and the depth of science there, a certain number of points for communication to be able to get those ideas across in a simple way, and then overall for the presentation on the day. The thing about the shortlisted people for the final is they all have a number of things in common. One is there's some very good scientific thinking and a great deal of imagination, but also they all have some wit about them as well. And I often think that great inventions also have great sort of maverick thinking behind them. But this year's finalist really impressed us with their presentation skills. The presentations were very clear, they'd been rehearsed, the slides that accompanied them were very concise and that was very powerful. They were very meticulous in the way that they took their results but that allowed them to see you know, that that process is, is very rewarding. They considered what they would do if they had chance to do the experiment again and how they could use what they'd done and take it further. So I think it's putting it into a real life context. But they'd thought about research that already existed in the, in the real world, they'd looked at that research and they'd used that to design their own experiments and that was also very impressive to see.